Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since my last Affinity Photo video. So in this video, I'm going to do photo manipulations in Affinity Photo. All the photos that I'll be using in this video are from Asplash. If you want to download it and follow along with me, you know where to go. Just click on the link in the description. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump into Affinity Photo and get started. Okay, so this is the photo that I'm going to use. Okay, so I will put this face and me in this photo right here. Okay, so first I will create a new layer and make it into black. Then put it below the background layer. After that, I will mask the background layer and use brush tool to remove the background. So make sure the foreground color is black. Then just pan over the background. And I will also remove some of the mountains as well. Okay, after that, I will add some fog to this photo. So I will use Fog Overlays by Paper Forms. And I will flip it, then align it like this, and put it below the background layer. And I will duplicate it, make the fork thicker. After that, I will put another fork on top of the background layer as well. And set it a little bit below. Then I will mask it and remove some part of the fork. And then I will move the face to this background layer. So first I need to remove the background. Okay, so I will go to select and select sample color. Then just select the black background and click apply. Then click Ctrl Shift I to invert. And just mask this layer to remove the black background. Then use brush tool and make sure the foreground color is white. And then I will bring back some of the details. Okay, after that I will copy it and put it here on top of the fork layer. And click on the mask layer and then I will again remove some part of this face to make it look like this face is covered in fork. Okay, after that I will add curves adjustments into this face layer and I will make it like this to match the background. And then let's move me to the background photo. Okay, as you can see, I have already removed the background, so I'll just copy it and put it here. Then I will put it right here. Okay, I can still see the edges. Okay, and like before, I will also delete some part of me to make it look like I'm covered in fog. and add curve adjustments as well then I will add shadows using brush tool okay it looks better next I will add another curves adjustment on top of the layer and make it uh, the photo darker and add color balance adjustments 
and then make it a little bluish to make it look cinematic like this and lastly I will add this lighting filter okay I will put it on top of this photo and I will put it here and then I will set the ambient to around maybe 60 and set the signiness to around uh, 59 okay So this is the final result and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video.